Welcome to SAP on Microsoft Azure. My name is Holger Bruchelt, and in this video, I'd like to talk about integrating SAP data into Microsoft Office 365. In other videos, we talked about single sign-on between SAP and Microsoft systems. We talked about integrating Microsoft data into an SAP Fiora UI, and we showed how you can use the built-in functionality of Microsoft Excel to access OData services. In this video, we want to talk how you can enrich the integration um, in your Office products, how you can enhance Microsoft Word, Excel, Outlook, PowerPoint with data from the SAP system. For this, we'll take a look at the um, Office add-in concept that has been around for quite some years. Unlike the previous way to integrate into Office products like Visual Studio Tooling for Office, the add-in concept has the advantage that you don't have to roll it out to all the clients up front, but each and every user of Office can simply enable the required functionalities right away. You can also embed these add-ins directly into a Word document or into any document so that when a user actually opens up this Word document, for example, the add-in is loaded immediately. Similarly, these add-ins are all based on HTML5 and JavaScript, similar like um, SAP Fiori actually, which also helps because they are not only limited to your Windows um, PC, but you can run them also on Mac, iOS, Android, any other places basically where Microsoft Office also runs. This allows you to create very rich applications directly in your Office, in your office applications and establish a connection to SAP systems, for example. So you could easily retrieve contact information from the SAP system and make this information available in your Word document. You could access a CRM system and link an email that you just received to an CRM activity. Or finally, obviously, you could work with material information from the SAP system and load this into Excel, but also write this information back to the SAP system. Let's take a look. Okay, in order to take a look of how this integration of SAP data into Microsoft products could look like, let's open up Word. Actually, a few years ago already, um, Christoph Schuler from Connected ERP, who's now working with Theobald, created a few sample demo applications that highlight how you can actually easily integrate SAP data into Word, Excel, and Outlook. So if I add one of these extensions, um, actually in the past they were under Insert um, Add Office application, now they're under Files Extensions, then I can open up the Office Add-in Store. If I search here for SAP, you can find the SAP Vendor Lookup application. So I'll just select it and click on Add. This SAP Vendor Lookup application shows you, first of all, how you can easily extend your Word application to not only have the, the typical Word body, um, hello, and, and whatever, where you can write your, your documents, but you can actually enrich the integration, the functionality, with this um, container here on the right-hand side. This is all HTML5 and JavaScript, so it does not only run on my Windows machine here, but it would also run on a Mac, or it would run on your Word on the iPad, or Word on, the Andro on your Android device. The beautiful thing here is that now I can simply start typing and I can make a connection to my SAP system. So for example, I can get a list of vendors that are stored in my SAP system. I can just select one of these vendors, I can click on Get, and now I'm retrieving the very latest information from my SAP system here in this Word side pane. But it's not only here in this, in this side pane. Actually, if I click on Insert, then I can interact with the Word, with the actual Word document on the left-hand side. And obviously, I could also enrich this. I could uh, have some information here on the left-hand side and update the information back with the um, container on the right-hand side. And with this, obviously, send information to my SAP system. So how this is done? Well, actually, it's, it's pretty easy. So let me start Visual Studio. Without going into the um, SAP-specific details, um, let's create a new project. So if I click on Create New Project, 
then uh, you can see here under, I'll, I'll stay with C Sharp, under Visual C Sharp, um, Office SharePoint integration, I can see these add-ins. Um, please see also there's the VSTO add-ins. That, that were the add-ins that, um, well, they're still available, but um, they have the disadvantage um, that they are, you always have to roll them out. You have to install them individually on each and every client. With this new add-ins here, these are these web add-ins, the HTML5 and, and JavaScript-based add-ins that really run everywhere, and not every user has to install them manually. So in my case, I'll just um, start with a Word web in. I'll leave all the defaults and just click on OK. So now the project has been loaded, and obviously this is a very simple getting started page. But what you can already see here is that it's um, HTML code that you see. Um, we are using several JavaScript libraries. One of these JavaScript libraries is also this office.js, which basically helps me to interact between my pane on the right-hand side and my actually Word document. You can see, and I'll, I'll start this sample in a, in a second, that we have a button here, we have a um, highlight button but behind this we also have some javascript code obviously so if i open the home.js um, um, file then you can see that uh, we have here some actions defined so if i click on the highlight um, button then we call the script uh, highlight longest word and then we'll we'll take a look at what this does in a second but let's let's give it a try let's start the application So Word is now started, and I can already see now there's this um, I can show task pane. Obviously, this could be renamed and stuff like that, but I'll just click on show task pane, and we get some sample text. Um, again, this is part of the um, demo script or the demo template that is part of the Visual Studio project. But if, what you can see immediately now, if I select here something on the left-hand side, and if I click this button, this highlight button, then we mark the longest word um, basically in, the, in this text. So let me do this again. Now I'll just um, mark the first few um, text elements and now another um, uh, word is uh, highlighted. So really nothing special, but the important thing is that we can interact between this right-hand side here and the text um, on the left. So let, let me just close Word, go back to our Visual Studio project, and here you can see, well, this obviously this highlight longest word um, JavaScript function that we have here, well, it just takes the um, the selection, and again here, this is all part of our um, office.javascript file, um, where we can interact with the document, where we can get the selection, where we can then work with um, all the information, we can retrieve the words and stuff like that, and then at the end, we can just um, put the font to bold and uh, the highlight color to, to yellow. So, so really, um, nothing complicated. But the important thing is that um, because of this office.javascript um, file, I can interact between my right-hand pane and the um, left side. So this obviously now leads to a lot of interesting um, capabilities. What I can easily do is I can now enhance this script with, for example, an AJAX call that calls an OData service. And with this, this OData service on the SAP side, I could retrieve information. I can write back information. So let's take a look at a very, very simple example that I've created. So in this demo um, example, what we're doing is uh, we are yeah, also having some, some buttons here um, that, that help me to um, interact or produce something. But then um, we, we also obviously want to retrieve some SAP information. Now, very similar like before, um, when the button is clicked, I go to this um, home.js file, and here I have this button um, that just calls get data from SAP. Now, in this um, function get data from SAP, what we're doing is we're executing an AJAX call. We're calling actually not directly an OData service. The reason why we're not doing this is, of course, the cross-origin resource sharing um, implications, which does not allow the Word document or this, this container um, to call directly a URL that is outside of the initial domain. And since um, my Word um, or my oh, yeah, Word add-in is currently running actually locally, and now we would make a call to an SAP system, which is somewhere else, um, we have to generate um, yeah, a, a proxy class, basically. So what I'm doing is I'm calling a call API business hub um, function, which I've created here. This is basically um, just a, a proxy that calls 
Um, well, a URL on the API Business Hub. So in case you're not familiar with the API Business Hub, um, this is the place where SAP exposes all the uh, yeah, certified OData solutions, so to say. And in this API Business Hub, um, you can browse available APIs. So you can see here, there, there are lots of APIs for S4HANA Cloud, for S4 HANA in general, for success factors, field class, and so on. And what I did here, I just selected one of the APIs because I can also use this as a sandbox. So in my case, what I've done, I've looked for production orders. And there is a nice um, API, which allows me to read, create, and update production orders. So obviously, I can also test this in the API Business Hub. So if I take a look at this get um, a production order function, I can just um, click on try it out. Sorry, let me, let me just limit the results to um, to five. I only want to have um, the top five results. And now if I click on execute down here, then I get a list of these production orders back from my um, from the sandbox system um, on the API Business Hub. So here, for example, for the production order uh, one million or whatever, um, if we scroll down here, we see there's a material name, a material number and stuff like that. So all fine. Um, this is the, the URL that I actually want to use in my um, short Visual Studio demo. So if I head back to Visual Studio, that's exactly the URL um, that I'm retrieving here from the um, Sandbox API system. I also have to provide an API key um, so to really authenticate with the API Hub. But, but that's basically it. So if I now start the application again, the Word application, You can see again the task pane. So let me click on the task pane. And now you um, see the almost the same container as before in this demo um, uh, solution. So what I can now do is I can just um, select one of these um, production orders. If I select here this 1 million and I click on retrieve PO, then I get the information from the API Business Hub. So um, as you might have remembered, this is the um, the name of the production order. I get some some information about the amount, the the production order ID, and stuff like that. Similarly, if, if I would select the other um, production order and I click on Retrieve PO, then I get the um, yeah the the information from the other production order. So again, this allows me to very easily interact between the Word document and my SAP system. And all this, this is done by, by simply executing some um, AJAX calls um, from the, the Visual Studio container. These add-ins are not only available for, uh, for Word, but they are also available for, for Excel. So just to close this off, let me open up Excel. And similar like before in the um, Word case, I can just go to Files, Extensions, and search for an SAP um, extension. And here we have a similar um, demo solution, the SAP Material Info, which provides yeah, a, a different kind of scenario, still an integration, obviously, between Excel and my uh, SAP system in this case. So like before, I can just um, search for a, a specific material number. So for example, here, I can see there's a PAR75. If I click on Get, I get information from the SAP system. I can potentially retrieve image information either from the SAP system or maybe from a SharePoint library or something like that. And I can also get a list, the, the, the bill of material. And um, if I'm interested in this, let's select a certain uh, cell here on Excel. And if I click on Insert, I get all the information from the bill of material also in Excel. And I could obviously work within, um, with this information here directly in Excel. Now, in this scenario, it's all read-only. So I read information from the SAP system and I make it available in Excel. But obviously, I could also extend this. I could select a field here in Excel. I could maybe update this field here. And then potentially, I could have a scenario where I click on Upload and um, update this information back to the SAP system. We hope this video helped you understand how useful and easy it is to enhance Office 365 applications and by this interact with data from your SAP systems without leaving the Office UI. Actually, the concepts have already been there for quite some time since Office 2013 and are available both in the browser version of Office and with the rich client of Office. Unlike products and previous integration scenarios from the past, this can all be done without an additional server. 
using the templates from Visual Studio, you can create an HTML and JavaScript app that is embedded in Office and can interact with both Office and the SAP systems. If you want to try it yourself, please follow the links mentioned here. Go to the SAP API Business Hub, check out the Office add-ins, and also check out the blog post by Christoph Schuler. As always, please subscribe to this channel. Thank you very much for watching.